Yeah. Good evening, families and friends. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Good evening to you all, precious and loving people of God. I greet you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit today. Our God is good all the time. And He's just good to you and I. All the time, He's good to you and I. He's good and faithful God. He is the everlasting King. He's the King of the world. He is the great that I am. He's the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, and the end. He has glory with no man in this world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Our God is good, family and friends. I can come to you. I come to you with the good news of God today, family and friends. The news of God that will transform your life. The news that will give you peace. That surpasses all understanding. The news that will give you kindness in your heart. They will calm. Calmness in your heart. It will calm you down. That you will not be going through. The, the, the trauma of this world, the stress and the depression of this world, brothers and sisters, as you read the word of God, you, it gives you peace into your heart and your spirit. If you trust in God, brothers and sisters, you depend only on God. No, nothing else but God Almighty. Because His word is sent forever to all generations, families and friends. Because the heaven and the earth will pass away, but God's word stands forever. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I lift all your people before you. All this YouTube channel, oh God, trusting in God in our generation. Father, I pray, oh God, for my videos. I pray, oh God, for this hour. I pray, oh God, for your people that will come across this video in the future, even in now, oh God. I pray, oh God, Lord, as they listen to your word that is coming, oh God, with power and anointing, that a level be transformed, that level they will be the same, oh God. Visit them in their home, in their dreams. Speak to them to dreams and vision, oh God, that a level they will be the same, oh God. Show yourself to them, oh God. Reveal yourself to them through the word as a meditate on your word and study your word, oh God. Speak to them through your word, oh God. Speak to them through vision. Hallelujah. And through dreams, oh God. Through meditation, oh God. Speak to your people, Father. I want to thank, thank you for your word. Father, let me disappear in this place. You go appear in this place. Holy Spirit of God, you visit your people. Let them not listen to me, but let the Spirit of God speak to their hearts as the word is coming forth, oh God. To your people this hour, Father, may you speak to them, oh God. Speak to them in a very special way, O oh God. That Lord will listen to your voice, O oh God. They will listen to your words, O oh Father. That the word will bring the uh, uh, change. It will transform the life. It will bring change to the life. It will take a part in the life, O oh God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father. I bless you for your people this hour. Your precious and wonderful people. Probably the first brothers and sisters on the live video. I just gave you, I gave all the glory for your life. I come to join you in the faith to believe God that He can move mountains. But we need to be submissive to God. We need to repent. We need to surround us and seek the face of God in holiness and righteousness in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, bless every home, every family, every child, young and old, every parents, oh God. Every handicapped, every displaced people, every hungry people in the world, oh Father. Help us, oh God, even as you trust in you, oh God will be the man Zion. As Psalm 125 says, we can never be removed. We can never ever be removed but abound forever and ever in the name of Jesus. That is your word, oh God. And we believe it with power and anointing. Father, I thank you, thank you for your promises, your word that will never pass away. Even as in heaven and the earth will pass away, your word stand. Take all the way to eternity. Father, your word never change. But to the heaven and the earth pass away, your word. Not an inch of your word will ever pass away. I thank you that bless you, oh God. I worship you, Father. For your people are staying the gap for them. Oh God, Lord, you have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Merciful God, be merciful unto us. Forgive our sins like iniquity before your children of grace, oh God. We come to you, oh God, by that before you to say, Papa, go have mercy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I bless you for your word, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, for your word that is coming to your people. This is our prayer, fathers and friends. We ask in Jesus' mighty name with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Our word, our God, God word is powerful than two as so brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Brothers and sisters, just listen to a song. I want to sing for you. I want to bless the Son of God to you. Don't listen to my voice. Just listen to the word in the song because my nose, everything is closed here. I'm, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The cook cannot stop me from doing what God wants me to do. Hallelujah. He's so great and mighty God. That's a pretty Lord. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Take your place, take your 
place. Take your place, Lord. Take your place. In the love of your people. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place, Lord. Take your place. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place, Lord. Take your place in the home. Take your place. Take your place in my home. Take your place, take your place in the lies. I say, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, take your place, take your place, take your place. Hallelujah. Like, just like, oh, just like all the dead of Pericles. Hey. Like a mighty rushing wind, take your place. Hey, spirit call, like the day of the Pentecost, like the day of Pentecost, like the day of Pentecost. Hey, like a mighty rushing wind. Hey, take your place, spirit call. Hey, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, take your place, take your place, Lord, take your place, hey, take your place, take your place in our lives, take your place, take your place in our home, my healer. My comfort, my help, my strength. Take your place in our lives. Take your place, take your place in my heart. Take your place, take your place in the lives. Take your place, take your place. My help, my teacher, my strength. My comfort, take your place, take your place, Lord, take your place, take your place, take your place. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, take your place. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, brothers and sisters. Let him come and take a place, his place right here. Let me disappear. He go appear. Holy Ghost, take your place in this place. You come and teach, speak, show me to speak to your people. Thank you for your word and your message that will come with authority and power. All the love of your people that love will be transformed. People that need healing will be healed, will be delivered from the bondage and slavery of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. So Holy Ghost, take your place. When you take your place, the love of your people can never be the same. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Take your place in the love of your people in their home. Take your place in everything they're going to do, oh God. Take your place in the life, oh God. And have your way in the life. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, we all need to repent. The topic of my message, oh families and friends, brothers and sisters in the law, is we all need to repent and seek after righteousness and holiness in the law. Seek after righteousness and holiness. We need to repent and seek after righteousness and holiness in the law. Hallelujah. The first scripture reading, brothers and sisters, I'll be doing for you is from the book of Isaiah 59. Isaiah 59, brothers and sisters, from verse 1 to 3, that tell us about God. About God. His is not shortened to reach you an hour who pray. And I see every day in our calamity, in our pain, in our family, in our destruction, in our frustration, in our distress, in this war, in confusion. The law go here is not something to reach to you and I who will pray to him. He said, you know, his ear is so heavy to listen to our prayer. But what he said that has separated us between we and God is our iniquity. Our iniquity has separated us from the love of God. 
for he hearing us this one, he cannot hear us this time in our generation. We will pray and pray. We will fast and fast before God can hear our prayer, prayer. And he has to see our heart, how committed we are for him to bless us, families and friends. Our iniquity, the evil, he said, because our head is full of blood. Our lips are full of lies and cheat and deception and lies and bondage over the life of his people. We laugh so much. Families and friends, this is why has separated we and God. Separate or betray. We and God is our iniquity. Families and friends, we need to repent. Families and friends, brothers and sisters in the law, youth, even the older people, we all need to repent and seek the face of God in righteousness and holiness. We need to repent, families and friends. The wickedness is too much. He said, our hands is full of blood. Yes, it is true. Our hands are full of blood. The blood is just too much on our head. God is still looking at blood. We kill innocent people every day because of money and power. We need to repent and seek the face of God. Families and friends. We need to repent and seek the face of God. And turn away from our wicked ways. Families and friends. Did it run a bit? Did it run a bit? Seven. The second scripture reading are read uh, as I have 59, but as I stuff from one to three. Hallelujah. He said, if we turn away from our, he said, if we repent. Hallelujah. And turn away from everything that we now need to do. Seeking after righteousness, walking in holiness with God, brothers and sisters. God will hear us our prayer and our supplication, and He will forgive us, families and friends. But it, as long we are living in bondage, we are living in sin and calamity, we are dancing and bathing in Him of blood because of material in this world, and power and grief, because of jealousy, hatred. Brothers and sisters, we are killing one another for no reason. Watch a prophet. You and I, brothers and sisters, every gain a word and loses our soul in the book of Mark, chapter 8, verse 36. So, why should a prophet a man to gain this world and lose his soul to the devil? Brothers and sisters, we need to repent. We need to seek the face of God. We need to ask God for forgiveness. Our heads is full of blood. Our lips has speak also so lies to people and deceiving people in the world. Preciousness is on our lips every day, every minute, every second. How is friend? We need to repent. God sent Jesus Christ into this world because he loved us so much. He loved for John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. But he said he's going to be God his son. That whosoever believes in each other parent, he said, but have everlasting life. Brothers and sisters, God does not want us to perish. That's why he sent Jesus Christ to come and die for us. He came in the flesh of him. He came and lived for us in 33 years. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. He was the mighty healer. He cleansed the leper. When the cripple saw him, these, the, 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 the rats opened their feet and began to walk. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. The son said, everywhere he went, everywhere he went, everywhere he went, he was doing good. He was doing good. He's the mighty healer, friends. He cleansed the leper. When the cripple saw him, they started walking. Everywhere he went, my God was doing good. Everywhere he went on this earth, on this planet, he was only doing good, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. That how good and sinless he was. He was there on his final mission. He will be obedient even to death. He's still obedient. That the obedience that God wants you and I to walk into, to be obedient to His word, His statutes, His commandment, and walk into His statutes and observe to do all His commandments, friends, families, and friends. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy, I'll read for you Deuteronomy 7 to 9. Deuteronomy, quickly, families and friends. Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 9. I'll read for you quickly. So you can know what is telling you and are there the word of God. They will pass away. The word of God is sharper than any two as sword. To the Rodman 7 voice. Voice now read. Voice now say it therefore that the Lord that God is good. The faithful God who keep their confidence and mercy with them that love him. Our God is a good God, brothers and sisters. He is the God that keep it confident. He is our confident keeping God. There's no one like him. The son says, confident keeping God. There is no one like you, Lord. You are the Alpha and Omega. There is no one like you. Confident keeping God. 
There is no one like you. From the surface, there's no one like God Almighty. He is the confident keeping God. For the day of our forefathers, for the day of Moses, for the day of Abraham, for the day of Noah, for the day of Joseph, Daniel, Shadrach, Bishop, and Abednego, brothers and sisters, Paul and Sadius, he is a confident keeping God. He never changed. He kept the confidence of our forefathers. And he's still keeping the confidence today for those that believe in him and trust in him and give the life to him and seek it with their whole heart, my body and soul. The, the Bible says, seek ye first. It says the greatest commandment of all in the book of Matthew 22, verse 37 to 40. The disciple asked Jesus, what is the greatest commandment of all? He said, the first commandment he says is love that God. Love that God, your creator with all your heart. With all your mind, with all your might, with all your body and soul. The second one is say, love that neighbor as yourself. If you love your neighbor, you won't harm your neighbor. You won't go and kill your brother and your sister. You won't go and rape your brother children, your sister children. Innocent life, you won't take them. If you love your neighbor, you will only show them love. Families and friends. He is so confident keeping God. He's so faithful. Brothers and sisters, he that keep your confidence, he is merciful to them that love him. God is merciful as long as you love God. He said, God with your whole heart, mind, body, and soul, with your might and your strength, families and friends, the love of God will cover you in the name of Jesus. Because he is a confident keeping God. He said, he said, which keep your confidence and mercy unto them that love him. He showed mercy unto us that love God. As you love God and keep his confidence, and walk into his commandment. And he said unto also, unto you and other keep his commandment. A thousand generations. As we keep the commandment of God, brothers and sisters, the a thousand generation time, I will go with me faithful unto you and I. Because he's a confident keeping God. He's holy and righteous God. Hallelujah. Help. Father, help us to keep your commandment. Help us to walk into your statutes. Help us to walk in holiness. Help us to repent and seek your faith in righteousness. As your book of Matthew says that they say, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and, it, and its righteousness. And he said, Every other thing will be added unto you and I. I will go to school, families, families and friends, brothers and sisters, all the time. And all the time, he's good to you and I. I will go and be faithful. Even we are not wanted to be faithful, but he will be faithful. Hallelujah. Psalm 86. Psalm 86, I will go to you. I will go quick to Psalm 86 for you, families and friends. I'll have to do everything very, very quick here. Psalm 86. Hallelujah. Psalm 86, brothers and sisters, verse 15. Let me tell you, let me tell you what he's saying there to you and I. Psalm 86, verse, verse 15 say, But thou, O Lord, thou art a God full of compassion. That uh, a God that is full of compassion and gracious in long suffering and plenteous in mercy and in truth. Hallelujah. Our God is merciful, brothers and sisters. He is plenteous in mercy. He is, he is gracious and He is faithful and kind. He is full of compassion. He is a compassionate God, families and friends. He gave all the chance and the opportunity to come to repentance because of his compassion, because of his grace. For he is a gracious God and long suffering and plenty in mercy and truth. Families and friends. Hallelujah. And Mark 8 36 says, I'll read for you the book of Mark in the New Testament, families and friends. Mark 8 36, read quickly for you. Hallelujah. Mark 8 36 says, for what shall it profit a man if he gain the word and lose his soul to the devil? Fathers and friends, it is God that gave riches and add no sorrow. What shall it profit you if you sell your soul to the devil to earn to, 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 to earn worth on this earth? To earn to have worth. That you have so much so much money in your in your bank account. You build thousands of horses on this earth. You get the latest car of all. You wear the, the, the expensive clothes. What shall it profit you to give the whole world and lose your soul to the devil for eternity? Brothers and sisters, it is better for us to give our life to Jesus and serve God with our heart, mind, body, and soul in our might 
and love our neighbors as ourselves, the two greatest commandments. Family and friends, and seek ye first the kingdom of God, Matthew 6, 33, and say every other will be added unto you and I. This is what we need to do, brothers and sisters, to give holiness, to, 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 give, to give mercy and, and, and kindness from God. Because he's plenty in mercy, plenty in mercy and grace. He's gracious unto you and I. Brothers and sisters, we need to seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. You don't need to seek any material thing because everything is vanity in this world, brothers. The, the heaven and earth will pass away. Everything that you see in this world, the sky scrap or the gold and diamond, everything will live on this earth will be destroyed with the devil. Families and friends, time will come. You will not even have the Bible to read. Do you know that? They will destroy the Bible, they'll be burning Bible. But the word of God that you and I meditate on it today, the word of God that will meditate the scriptures that will meditate on families and friends. This is the word of God that will save you and I as we meditate on the word of God. Christians pray more than Muslim people. Let me tell you, Christian brothers and sisters, we pray more than Muslims. God has given us the power to pray at all times. Any hour in the day, the minute, and second, we are praying. Everywhere we find ourselves, we are meditating on the goodness of God and praying in our heart, whether on the train, on the buses. Whatsoever we find ourselves in this world, in a, in, in, in a social gallery, we are there and pray in our heart that God will bring His peace, that God will protect His children. Everywhere we are, we pray. Families and friends. There's no limitation in the prayer of Christian. Anywhere you are, you can pray. God is on living presence, which means He's present everywhere. We pray everywhere, anytime. We don't have to find a particular place to bear that to pray. We pray in our hearts. We meditate on the goodness of God anytime, every minute, any second. That how the goodness of God is. Families and friends. He said, call upon me. Hallelujah. He said, wherever we are, we call upon him, he will be there with us. Families and friends, there's no limitation on our God. He is the only presence. He's present everywhere. He's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. What shall it profit you and our brothers and sisters if we gain the whole world and we seek after things of this world and lose our soul to the devil? If we lose our soul to the devil because of material things, families and friends, there will be no eternal life for us. We will definitely go to the hell fire with the devil. We all the gold and diamond that we are earned in this world. And the riches that we have for the devil, we will go there with him. It is God that gave riches and add no sorrow. When the devil gave you something, brothers and sisters, he will take double plus for you. He will request for your soul. The first thing, when you sign the covenant to him, to earn, to earn materiality and worth in this world, that will pass away will be vanity, he will take your soul first for you. Then he will try to take the soul of your loved ones. If you don't have anything else to gain here, he coming for your own self to destroy you. Family and friends, this hard devil is wicked. He get blindfolded people. Brothers and sisters, we need to be wise and accept what the Bible says. In our days, in our generation, youth, the enemy don't have nothing to give to you. Do not follow any, do not follow your friends because of peer pressure in this world, because of material thing, materialistic thing, brothers and sisters, love for families and friends, youth. Pressure and loving children of God Almighty. The future generation do not follow after peer pressure. Do not be misled by your friend to go follow your friend to go do anything to give money and wealth in this world because it is vanity. Your soul will be sent to the devil and you have no chance to repent again if you have sold your soul to the enemy. Families and friends, we need to redeem the time when the days are evil. You can see how wicked the war is. Families and friends, you and I have to pray without ceasing for sense of little. Fast 17, 16 to 17 or 18, say we should pray without ceasing, families and friends. Because the enemy is our adversary, is our destiny, who he will devour. For the thief coming to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came that we have life and have a more abundant families and friends. Christian brothers and sisters, I come to you with the love of God. I love you so much, but God loves you the best. The word of God is here to save your life from destruction, to redeem your soul from hell. Brothers and sisters, hallelujah. And I will read for you the second, the last scripture will be taken from the book of Second Chronicles seven fourteen. Second Chronicles seven fourteen, brothers and sisters, is just simple. The word of God say, my people, in the book of Second Chronicles seven, chapter seven, verse fourteen, families and friends, it said, my people who are called by my name, if they shall humble themselves, hey, pray, seek my face, and turn away from their wicked ways. And I go in heaven. I will hear the cry. I will forgive the sins. 
and I will heal the land. He will heal you, be healed to your soul. He will be healed to your to your to, to your life, your family, your congregation, brothers and sisters. If we only hack it onto the force of the law and turn away from our wicked ways, our God is faithful and just to forgive our sins, families and friends. He said, if we turn away from our wicked ways, he's faithful. Humble. If we humble ourselves, he loves for people to humble them, themselves. God loves people to humble. Brothers and sisters, then he will lift you up. You have to be humble. You gotta be dedicated to the things of God. You gotta humble yourself like a child. Do not take yourself proud. God does not love people that are proud. Instead of said to be big, we are nothing but trust and debt. We will go back to the death where we came from, families and friends. Hallelujah. With all your riches you have in this world, you will go back to the death you are. We will not carry anywhere. But the left that we live in this world, we will give an account to go for it, families and friends. Get prepared. Redeem the time when the days are evil. He said, if we will hammer, if we will hammer ourselves, pray, brothers and sisters. Pray for your brothers and sisters that let is going to destruction because of material thing. Pray for the youth that are going after peer pressure in the world for material thing, families and friends. Their eyes, the enemy has carried it astray and make it to be grieved after material thing. Killing one another for material thing. Families and friends, we need to pray. We need to pray for our youth. We need to pray for the, the world. Because the enemy is here that has brought deception and lies in the midst of the children of God. Even in the church, there are a lot of confusion because the enemy have come to confuse the mind of his people. We cannot be awakened, brothers and sisters. The agents are all over in the churches. We got to be watchful to know who we are listening to. They will come in sheep clothing, wolf in sheep clothing everywhere. Fake prophecy. We got to be awakened. We got to read our Bible and pray every day. When I was small, the son said, read your Bible. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible and pray every day. It will make you grow. It will make you grow. Glory, hallelujah. It will make you grow. Glory, hallelujah. Read your Bible and pray every day. It will make you grow. It's a simple children's song, but it is very powerful. Read your Bible and pray every day. It will make you grow in the things of God. Be a concrete relationship with your God Almighty, your Creator. Get closer to God. Know God for yourself. Read your Bible and pray every day. Be an intimate relationship with God. Communicate with your God. He wants us to communicate with Him every day on a daily basis. Families and friends. His voice is speaking to us every day. When we are going to rebel against Him, His voice will tell, do not do that. Do not do this. But we, we do not hack it onto the voice of the Holy Spirit. Because we are deceived and being blinded by the wickedness of the enemy in this world. Brothers and sisters, this is the time for us to have a wake-up call. To come to repentance. Jesus is here. He came for sinners. He's not came for the righteous. He's still opening his arm. His arm is open and calling you and I. Hallelujah. He calling you and I to repentance every day. He calling you out to salvation. He said we should seek him now while he's far. While he's near. Let us seek God now while he's near. Brothers, he's knocking. Matthew 7, 7 say, ask. You sh it shall be given. Seek, you shall find. Knock, and the door will be open unto you. Brothers and sisters, seek the face of God. Knock, he will open the door for you to come in. Ask, it shall be given. Let us continue to ask. Don't care about how long it will take. Be obedient to the word of God. And obedience is better than sacrifice. He said you should ask, continue to ask, family and friends, until you receive what you are asking for. Do not relent in reacting because God that love his children, just that his children, he also put his children to test to see if they don't, they just come into him because they need material thing, because they need for the prayers to be answered. After what God answer your prayer, you, do, you you turn away from him and you go back to the world and try to do a lot of evil and hate and jealous people and kill innocent people and destroy lives and property for no reason. So he will put it to a test to see if you are ready, repent, families and friends. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is the word of God to you today, families and friends, on the YouTube channel. This is the sister Massa coming to you with this live video. The Holy Spirit has led on my heart to speak to you on this topic. Families and friends, I will read the topics in the video that you will go and read your Bible and pray every day for yourself. Know God for yourself. Know your Creator for yourself. Be on a relationship with God. 
who is a loving and kind God. I will confident and give him God. There's no one like him. I leave you with a life video, family and friends. May the peace of God rest in the bar with you. Let God guide and protect you, you and your family this week that is coming. Let God give you peace. Let, let him make a feast to shine upon you. You and your entire family, your children, grandchildren, your generation, your loved one, your community, your country. Brothers and sisters, every day as we in and out, let God go before and strengthen our quicker places and direct our footsteps. And as we dwell in the secret place of the Most High God, Psalm 91, let us dwell under the shadow of God Almighty. So shall it be unto you and me in the name of Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the peace of God be with you. Let God make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and give you his peace that surpasses all understanding. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Stay blessed now. Shalom.